Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, Show and Tell Day. Hi, neighbor. Today it's my turn for show and tell at school, said Daniel Tiger. Daniel looked around his bedroom for something he could share at show and tell, but he couldn't find anything he wanted to bring. Daniel spotted his baby sister, Margaret, in the kitchen. That gave him an idea. Can I take Margaret for show and tell? Daniel asked his dad, hopefully. Dad Tiger giggled. Margaret is too little to go to school, he replied. Okay, I'll keep looking, Daniel said, determined to find something Tiger-tastic to bring to show and tell. Daniel went back into his bedroom and took another look around. Then he noticed an empty shoebox on the floor. Suddenly, Daniel had a terrific idea for show and tell. He would use the box to make a little bed for Tiggy. Daniel colored the shoe box and decorated it with stickers. Can you guess my favorite color? Asked Daniel. It's red. Next, Daniel added a fuzzy blanket to make it comfy cozy for Tiggy. Now all Tiggy needs is a little pillow, Daniel said. He wondered what he could use. I know, Daniel exclaimed, my sock. He rolled up one clean sock into a ball and placed it gently under Tiggy's head. Dad Tiger was impressed with Daniel's show and tell project. Great job, Daniel, he said. I can't wait to show my friends Tiggy's bed and tell them all about it, Daniel cheered. Soon it was time for Daniel to go to school. I've got my lunch, my show and tell surprise, and my backpack. I have everything I need for school. Dad Tiger looked at Daniel proudly. Then let's go, my fuzzy guy. Daniel and Dad Tiger buckled up on trolley and trolley rolled through the neighborhood. Daniel and his dad sang, we're on our way to school for a special show and tell. Won't you ride along with me? Won't you ride along with me? When Daniel arrived at school, teacher Harriet called the class over to the circle time rug. It's show and tell time, the class cheered. First, it was Katerina's turn. For my show and tell, I brought a picnic basket, she said. It's special to me because my mama, that's my grandma, gave it to me. Is there anything inside? Jody asked. No, it's empty right now, Katerina said. But when we go for picnics in the park, I put lots of yummy food inside. Meow meow. Finally, it was the moment Daniel had been waiting for. His turn for show and tell. This is Tiggy's bed. I made it out of a shoebox. Then I added a fuzzy blanket, and I made a pillow for Tiggy out of my sock, Daniel explained proudly. Everyone loved seeing what Daniel had made. They had a lot of questions about it. Does Tiggy like to sleep in his bed? Miss Elena asked. Daniel nodded. Yes, watch this. Daniel tucked Tiggy into his cozy shoebox bed. Shh. Good night, Tiggy, he said. And what's that part on the side? Jody asked. I colored that part red because red is my favorite color. And then I put some stickers on top, Daniel explained. After show and tell had ended, it was time for lunch. Crunchy carrots, Daniel said. Yummy. Daniel had a terrific day. When I couldn't find something I wanted to bring for my show and tell, I made something, he said. What would you make, neighbor? Ugga mugga. The end.